now I am on my Google Cloud screen so to install GitLab I am not following any manual instructions here just I will use a GitLab image from the marketplace so how we can do that so just type marketplace here go to marketplace and just type here a GitLab GitLab and I'll enter so there will be multiple options given here so I will be using the cheaper one which will be a community editions on the Ubuntu server okay so I will choose this one and simply I have to click on the deploy to deploy it on a virtual machine so I simply launch it you can see the pricing and all these things here so currently I'm just directly launching it so it will be installed on my virtual machine with Ubuntu image okay so let's keep everything as it is okay and I'll simply deploy it okay I'm not changing anything so uh, this is the simple thing I am showing here so if you are doing it for your organization definitely you have to think from all the security perspective all the firewalls how you are exposing this instance so this will we are creating this our own GitLab instance on our Google Cloud virtual machine so you can see it's already deployed now so let me go to the compute engine and you will see one virtual machine with a GitLab instance and I will just check for this external IP and I'll try to access it okay so timeout it might give for a few seconds once the VM is started yeah so this is expected I have to wait for one or two minutes as the background processes are still starting so I'll just wait and I'll refresh it now let me refresh after two minutes yeah and this initial login screen uh, will show up now one thing here so what will be the username and password so by default username is a root okay and for password there will be one file which will be stored for initial uh, I would say 24 hours or 48 hours on the server so we have to get password from that file okay so I'll show you where we can get that okay so just on our VM instance just login just do SSH okay so let me just go to CD just for, let me do first sudo okay so I'll be having access to all the directory now so I'll go to CD etc okay and is anything related to GitLab here so there should be one GitLab folder let me check yeah and inside this folder there is one initial password file okay so this initial root password file so let me just log in and see what is the initial password and you can see this is the initial password for your GitLab instance to log in using the root now let me go to the our GitLab instance okay and let me log in using root and password what we copied from our file yeah and now we can see we are already created our GitLab instance and one one default project will be there so we can create our new project and repository so I'll just create one new blank project here okay I'll just uh, give the name GitLab for GCP okay and I'll simply create this private project and a repository now our project is created here and you could see there is one repository also with a default readme file and you can clone this repository and start creating your code and then you can push your code to this GitLab repository